let's go away. Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Lena and today's video is going to be super cool so it's just going to be a general day in my life but I'm actually taking the afternoon off work today and I'm going to be participating in a coding boot camp which is really cool so the boot camp is run by Coding Dojo and I've worked with them before so thank you so much Coding Dojo for sponsoring this video I really appreciate it and I'm really excited for the opportunity to actually attend a coding boot camp and see what it's like so this morning I'm just working on work so I'll film some of that but then this afternoon I'm gonna go to a couple of classes for the boot camp so this boot camp is ongoing and it's got students in it so I'll just be visiting for a day see what they're up to and then I can tell you guys a little bit about how my experience went but yeah hopefully that's interesting to you let's get to it Just ignore that noise if you can hear it. That's my computer processing stuff. You know, when you use a really heavy application on your computer and your computer's like on full blast, that is my computer constantly when I code because I code in a pretty antiquated language and framework that my computer just, I don't wanna say it struggles to support, but it definitely makes a lot of noise whenever I code. Right now, I am just starting a new project, which is basically a small feature that we scoped out. And this is mostly a front end with just one API call. Something that I really like about my job is that I definitely always do full stack. So I'm not stuck to just front end or just back end. And I really like this because it means that when I'm working on something, I'm pretty self-sufficient and I don't have to rely on anyone to get my stuff out the door. So right now I'm just working on setting up a new page and then on that page, I'm gonna build out this entirely new front end component, which is really cool and I'm pretty excited to do. I feel like front end is definitely where I struggle the most in coding. So it's good to get some React practice, get in there. I know the bootcamp later today, we're gonna do web fundamentals. So I wonder if we're gonna do React, we shall see, but it will be interesting and I'm excited to take you along. Okay, right now I'm trying to find a bug in my code. Basically, I made this whole new front end modal that is supposed to open when I click a link, but I'm clicking the link and nothing is happening. So I'm just gonna try to debug that. So let's get to it. Okay, I've been debugging for a little bit and still haven't found the issue. So I'm gonna do like a full once pass over everything that I've touched to see if I can figure out where it is. Right now the logs are not super helpful because it's kind of compressed to JavaScript that I'm seeing. So I can't really pinpoint where the error is. I just have an idea of what the error is. So I'm just gonna keep looking through this. Okay, I just ended up posting my code that wasn't working into a Slack channel where I was asking for help and somebody found the bug in two seconds. So that is the value of pair programming and I really spent the whole morning trying to find something that I probably would have never found just because I didn't know this specific thing that you had to do. So that was really helpful and now I'm able to continue coding, but I think it is almost lunchtime and so my coding bootcamp classes are about to start. So I'm gonna switch gears and go over to try this and yeah, let's hop to it. And that's that's kind of the thing, right? Like it's Unfortunately, you are going to have to dial it back. You know, we've talked about this a few times, but like, what's the correct way to program? The way that gets it right for the client, right? There are certain cases where you may want to create, like, a div instead of flexing your team on the same center. I saw one student yesterday where I did on either side, right? And flex those. Okay, I just joined my first class, which is called Web Fundamentals. I think there's a quiz at the end, but I'm hoping to not take that. It's going well so far. We're just listening to a little presentation about how to know when to use certain front end elements, which I think is pretty interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch this while I make some lunch. You know, change your browser display to the phone so you can see what you look like on the screen tonight. Let's say I were to do i equals zero. We'll just start our i equals zero. 
just finished up the web fundamentals lecture and I'm about to go into a discussion section about intro to JavaScript. I think I'm not going to participate because I'm not a student actually. I'm just kind of an observer. So I'm just going to see what the students have to say, maybe talk to some of them. So I'm interested to see how they're doing. So let's check it out. Okay, I just finished up the morning coding dojo classes, which were pretty informative. And at the end, we actually had a little group quiz on JavaScript where embarrassingly, I did not know the answer to every single question. So yeah, I found that really impressive because the students there have only been learning coding for a week and they all know so much, are very competent. And I don't know, they all went around saying their favorite and least favorite parts of JavaScript, which is the language they're coding in right now. And they were all very informed and very thoughtful responses which I feel like you need a good understanding of the code to understand so I'm impressed that they knew all of that after just a week so that was really cool so I believe they have their next lecture at 3 p.m. which is 6 p.m. my time so I'm not gonna be able to go to that but they have group work now so I'm gonna try to use some of the JavaScript skills and actually apply them to my regular coding I'm actually making something in JavaScript right now and it's a little out of my depth so hopefully some of the stuff we learned we learned a lot about like Flexbox and things like that, which I also use at work, but I'll try to apply some of the properties that I learned from Coding Dojo to my work, kind of, I guess, transitioning back to work since they're doing group work. So I'm gonna do my individual work now. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I. It's okay that we change. But it feels kinda strange that you're not in my life You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone You're the only love that I've ever known But we turn into a flower that Hello, I just got back from dinner, which I had full intention to vlog, but completely forgot. But I did take some pictures, so I will insert them here. It was a really lovely meal with a lot of courses, and in my opinion, dessert was the highlight of the meal. It was this lemon ice cream, I wanna say, with a sesame glaze on top with sesame seeds. It was so good, I really loved it. But to continue my life as a coding dojo student, I'm going to try one of the assignments that they have, which is basically just making a simple web page which I think would be good to remember my HTML CSS skills so I'm just gonna try some of that do that for the evening I think it will be fun and a good way to remember my coding so let's get to it I was hiding like the moon like that never shows I should have told you that I loved you one more time one more time one more time Told you that okay, that ended up being a lot more than I thought because I actually moved on to the assignment for the next day, which keep in mind is only the assignment for the fifth day of this boot camp, which I think is absolutely incredible that by day five, they're able to do this assignment, but I just made a calculator in the browser. So basically it's just a little interface where you can do different calculations in the browser. So mine was just entirely text-based, but I think if you wanted to take it further, you can make a full UI and stuff. But yeah, that is what I ended up doing. I guess I will also give a full recap on my thoughts about the day in the life of a coding bootcamp student. I was never in a coding bootcamp. I actually learned to code when I was in college, which was fun, but it took four years. So I think it's really impressive that people in bootcamps are able to learn all of these web fundamentals or whatever class it is. I was in the web fundamentals class, but they also had an intro to Java class that I could have taken as well. But they're able to learn all of that so quickly. I think a lot of what I learned in college was very interesting to learn, but definitely super superfluous for the job that I have now where I only really need to know web-based programming for my specific job currently and I think that with the skills that they're teaching in the coding boot camp you could definitely land a job in the tech industry. Boot camps are definitely a viable way to gain jobs in the tech industry and I just want to thank Coding Dojo again for letting me participate in their boot camps. They're actually the number one ranked coding boot camp nationally in terms of student outcomes which is really amazing. Over 95% of students find a job in 
in a relevant field within a year. So I think that's really quite impressive for just the small amount of time that you're in the boot camp in comparison to the lifetime of a career change. And another thing I really like about Coding Dojo is that they have lifelong career services. So it means that time and time again, if you're looking for a new job, you can always refer to them and they can help you find a new job, which I think is really great. So if you want to check out Coding Dojo, definitely do in my description. I really enjoyed my half day slash into the night. So maybe it was a full day of classes with them. The instructors are great. The students were such a lovely community that I think you could definitely find camaraderie in. So 10 out of 10, great experience. But now I'm going to sort of wind down for the evening, just kind of read my book in bed and yeah, let's get to it. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope it was a good one. Let me know what you thought and I will see you in my next one. Bye!